Yo, what's going on guys? It is Insanity here and welcome to today's video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you could beat the Keeper of Nature raid boss in Tiny Tina Wonderlands. This boss's name is Barkenstein and it's associated with the green symbol found on your chaos runs. So in order to summon this boss, you must first find the green symbol as shown on screen. This symbol is able to spawn on any chaos floor after you've cleared the encounter. So once you've cleared the encounter, look around for this green symbol. If you're unable to find this green symbol and you are sure that it is not on that floor that you are on, just proceed to the next floor and just repeat those steps again. Clear the encounter and just look around the room. If it's not there again, just keep going. But once you have found this green symbol, just simply interact with it and it will spawn a green mushroom somewhere on the map. Go look for this green mushroom and once you have found it, just simply jump on it. After you have jumped on it, it will begin shooting out these rocks. And you have to shoot these rocks in order when they light up purple. And you have to do this three times successfully in order to summon this boss. And also keep in mind, if you do fail this step, you have to start a new chaos run if you want to fight this boss. And it's also worth noting that more rocks spawn the more players you have in your game. So if you're playing solo, you only have to shoot a few. If you're playing with four people, you have to shoot a lot. Now moving on to the boss fight itself. To begin this boss fight, you have to first finish your chaos run. After you've beaten the boss of the run, there will be two portals that will spawn. One is gold and one is red, and we want to go into the red one. And you'll just watch this cutscene. If you want to skip it, you could just simply shoot her and it will start the fight. Once spawned in the arena, you will see Barkenstein, the Keeper of Nature, right in front of you. Just wait for Tina to stop talking and the fight will begin. Now, moving on to some moves you should avoid. This boss is extremely in your face and uses a lot of melee attacks to try to attack you. You'll notice when it is using one of these melee attacks, you will see a purple symbol on the limb that it is attacking you with. For instance, if it is attacking you with its claw, you'll see a purple symbol on its hand. You will also hear a sound cue whenever it's going to attack. If you shoot that purple symbol, it will stagger the boss for a little bit so you can do some damage. But keep in mind, you do have to be extremely quick to shoot this symbol in order to stagger the boss. And now another move to avoid is these gas clouds. This is probably more important because if you don't avoid it at all, it makes the entire arena unplayable and basically you lose. It's just checkmate at that point. At around half health, the boss will make its way to the middle of the stage. It will begin shooting out these rocks just like the mushroom did from earlier. And just like the mushroom, you have to shoot these rocks when they glow up purple. If you don't, again, they will spawn gas clouds and make the entire arena unplayable. Now, a quick tip, if you're playing with multiple people and you only have a part of the arena that is open, just make sure you communicate and tell people or ping or something where it is safe because it could get, you could get lost in this and it's very easy to and you take a lot of damage. It's kind of insane. So that's the attack I would highly recommend you look out for and it is very important that you do show, shoot those rocks that glow up purple. Now if you go down during this boss fight, there are plenty of enemies around the arena that you can kill. They're just little mushroom guys. Uh, sometimes they won't be there honestly, but there should be enough for you to get a second wind maybe a few times. And also the ammo situation could get kind of scarce during these raid boss fights. So again, if you kill those mushrooms, they have a chance to grant you some ammo. Now moving on to some weapons and enchantments that I would highly recommend you take into this fight. Now obviously with anything in this game, damage is key, but also the element that you are firing is very important as well. Barkenstein is weak to fire, so I would highly recommend you bring a fire weapon into this fight. And also for some enchantments, I would highly recommend that anything that boosts gun or fire damage, as it would have the most effect during this boss fight. It's a little different with the other three raid bosses, but this one is weak to fire. And obviously as of the time of this video the liquid cooling is absolutely ridiculous so obviously you have to have one of those in your arsenal as well and the last thing i would highly recommend is patience is key during all of these fights just take your time and don't let go of that fire button it will eventually die and it's it's a long one sometimes but it is it is fun. It's a very fun fight. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you guys did enjoy or found it informative, please leave a like down below as it does help this channel grow. And subscribe if you are new for more Wonderlands content like this. And yeah, it's been Insanity, and I will see you guys later.